Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. For this episode I have a new installation for my RAV4. I was waiting on this because the current setup that I have is something going on with it. I'm going to show you in a minute. For now, let me introduce the brand new for this 2023 7443 LEDs. This is going to be the new T3 switchback LED. They're gonna have a good heat dissipation. They're gonna last a lot longer once you put your turn signal. They're not gonna go hyper flash because the cam was built in and you're not gonna have problems. Compared to the old designs, this one is gonna run much better for a longer time. So 7443 switchback for my RAV4. I'm gonna show you the stock, this, and then the problem that I have with this one and then probably we're gonna run some tests on see how long they they last before they go hyper flat. Same thing with this one. Once you reach four or five minutes, I think these ones they start hyper flashing, they're going really fast. This one for the design, they're gonna go much longer. Okay guys, the new T3 LED from last feed for 2023 is a new design. It's gonna run much cooler, better. It's not gonna hyper flash like this setup. This is my old setup. I'm gonna show you in a minute what's going on with it. And if you can see here, it has few holes on top. That's it. This one gets hot and after around five minutes, they start hyper flashing. You don't need resistors because they have the resistor in built in it. For the new one, for this 2023, this last feed, uh, you can see the holes on the bottom, bigger on top two. Heat dissipation is gonna be better. The canvas built in inside is porcelain, so it's gonna resist the heat a lot better. And like I said, this one, once you put your turn signal on, they're gonna last around 30 minutes before they start hyper flashing. Compared to the four or five minutes of this, this one is a better option and I have the switch back so let me put one and I'm gonna show you against the halogen bulb and then we're gonna do a little test on in to see how long they last before the hyper flash so that's gonna be interesting stay tuned let's go to it I'm gonna show you on the driver side both sides are the same if you want to remove your turn signals on a RAV4 you have it right here Put your hand inside, you're gonna feel and see it right here. If you can see my finger moving, that's the connector, twist it to the left. Grab it, use some gloves so you don't damage the ball. And this new last fit is error free. Whatever way you put it is gonna work. LED is in place. Put it back on. twisted lock it in place as you can see the new one it has the top on white and once you turn them on they're not gonna blind oncoming traffic some some LEDs they're super bright when they're white sometimes they're brighter than the headlight and they're not that bright when you put the amber and on these switchbacks I think it's gonna be different because on some of them is the opposite too they're not super bright on white but they're super bright on amber Let's see on this one how they're gonna look. Okay, this one is not super bright when it's white. I think it's gonna be super bright on amber. Yep, last feed they have that on their LEDs. They're super bright on the turn signal, not bright on the white, which is good, it's better. And I like to see this. Some other LEDs, they have white, but once they go to turn signal, it's just amber. This one is a true switchback. It's white and amber at the same time. I love that. That's halogen for you. Not really bright at all. Especially, especially during the day, you can't even see it. And this one, white and amber, super bright on the amber. I love that. Can you see the difference? That's my old setup. I have a problem with one of the LEDs after eight months, six, eight months, I don't remember. And I contact the company, they send me a replacement. I told them switch back, but they send me the one uh, that goes from white to amber and it stays amber on the turn signal. And this is the old one, is white and amber at the same time. 
one more thing with these lights even though these lights they perform really good the only bad thing is the connection is really loose on my socket 7443s the new last fit is thicker you can hear the click they're not gonna go anywhere okay guys I'm gonna do a little test in that side I have the new last fit in this side I have the other one like this from Cinetic I'm gonna turn the turn signal and put my clock to see how long they last until they go hyper flash same thing with that one I think that one is gonna last a lot longer last fit says 30 minutes let's see about that and we're gonna finish this episode with this little test okay test is starting light on turn signal on let's see how long it's gonna go until it go hyper flash I'm gonna put the watch now so there you go uh, I'll say four minutes let's see how long it's gonna take to start hyper flash there you go guys it just start doing it three minutes and 27 seconds so let me stop it three minutes and 27 hyper flash with the cinetic look at it it's going crazy three minutes and it's still strong okay guys this is over almost five minutes I'm not gonna go crazy on it I know they're gonna last a lot longer that one it was three and a half minutes this one is already over five and no issues so definitely get some of these LEDs okay guys so LEDs are in they're working really good on both sides they're not gonna hyper flash and I'm gonna leave the link in the description for those 7443 LEDs from last feed. And I hope you like this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.